What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Jod here from Poopa Plow playing some more Farbing Simulator 19. This time, guys, we're back here in Indiana. Let's get to it. Which thing, though, Pepper? There's a lot of things. Oh, you're probably talking about that awful tractor, right? Oh, microphone arm. Hello, dog water. You know, chat, that's the next thing. That's a, it's something I need to probably replace in this setup. This microphone arm is not made for this microphone. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, what's up, peeps? How y'all doing today? Welcome on in. I wasn't flexing. That wasn't a weird flex. I was making a joke. What's the best way to cheat on a math test? A calculator? Google? I, I don't know. You tell me. Don't cheat. That works too, right? Anyway, let's jump in and see if Sarge is here. Sarge? Howdy. How's it going, sir? Oh, it's going good. Awesome. Thanks for that resub. Oh, no problem. Anytime. All right. So our fields are growing, right? Did we get that grass planted the other day? We did. I think so, yeah. Okay. I think Zach got it done. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I wasn't was not sure. <laughs> that moment when Pepper says, "Look at that thing in front of you." I'm like, I don't know what which, which thing you're talking about. I don't have a clue. I think it was the pink tractor. Yeah, it is kind of loud. Just a lot, yeah. It it is a little. Uh, well. Cody, this is Griffith, Indiana. It's right there in chat. Uh, you can find it on the Mod Hub, and it is available on console as well. Well, you know, if we get rid of it real fast, you know, Leonard's not here right now, so we can probably get rid of it, right? Okay, so he's the one responsible for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, rocks. Uh, yeah, Sean, Matt, what's up? What's up? What's up, Matt? How's it going? How's First your time? I seen that. I was like, why? <laughs> well, because see, I bought the knockoff John Deere for him because he wanted a John Deere, and I was like, well, I can get you something close to a John Deere, which is the knockoff over here. And then we went to buy another one, or at least at the tractor's actually leased. And he's like, pink with purple rims. I'm like, okay. All letters fall. Uh, let's see. So we really don't have anything to do on our fields, but of course there are, are there's missions. There is. Potato harvest on uh, 29. <laughs> oh, 29 is a big field. It's not tiny, no. No. Harvest uh, 5. Fertilize 16. Is there more fertilizing missions? Yeah, there's a couple fertilizing missions. A lot of cultivating too, it looks like. Okay, here's the strat. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do fertilizing mission, Sarge. Okay. okay I was I, looking at picking up a couple of the harvesting ones because two corn ones. Yeah. Well, I borrowed another uh what's it called? A Rubicon. So we'll have we'll have two Rubicons so we can knock out some fertilizing missions in like no time. Let's let's get cracking. We can do those real fast. Oh yeah. We can do some harvest missions. I'm down. User joined your channel. I'm always really down. Only, really, only the two. Yeah. There's a lot of fertilizing uh, to do. Yeah, I think I got it all. I think I got it all. The other one's down here. We need to fill these first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What you got liquid. We get it here at the shop, or do we fill it elsewhere? Yeah, we get it at the shop. I haven't put a. Uh, but we haven't put up tanks yet. Probably should, huh? Man, my like nose is running from those Pringles. <laughs> Pringles are kind of hot. Not eating any more before stream. I can tell you that. Got the good ones. Oh um, my! I don't know why he got them. I don't know. My my dad occasionally will bring them home, and for some reason last night he's like, "I'm behind the spicy ones." 
happy and I appreciate it, but man, I just don't know about it. 16. I'm going to 16. That's the top of the list. GM, what's up? How's it going, man? How's it going, everybody? Welcome in. How are you, dude? Dude. Doing great, GM. Other than spicy Pringles, I'm doing fantastic. Wait, thanks for the host, man. Appreciate you. I had like four, four, literally four Pringles. And I'm like dying from them. I don't do spicy normally, so. Right. Yeah, like the spiciest thing I get is like Taco Bell, you know? <laughs> Not very spicy. So, yeah. Like most spicy chicken sandwiches from restaurants are too spicy for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a windy spicy chicken sandwich, I'm like, I'm good. I don't want to have heartburn all night, you know? <laughs> I understand. And that's usually what it is. Like, I just, I don't want to be sick tonight, so let's, let's just not. So. I tried jalapeno one time when I was a kid and thought I was going to die, so. Okay, so Thai food is out of the question. Oh, I wouldn't even touch it. <laughs> nope. Would not even touch it. No, not, not even, not at all. <laughs> no, I just don't do it. You were watching some of the old uh, Farmson 15 Xbox videos and they're really good. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yo, Bert, I don't like to hear that you got four and a half inches of rain and you're getting more. I don't want to hear that at all, Bert, to be completely honest with you. Because that's, um, that's a lot of water for the old uh, rivers there, you know? Oh, goodness. Welcome in. Good afternoon. Uh, I don't know how much rain we actually got out of all that. Wow, rocks. Set up a little GPS. Why not? All right. Fertilizing. Um. But yeah, Bert. That's not. Uh, that's not good to hear that you got that much rain. You know. Pretty much pepper. Yeah. Pretty much yeah i don't uh the missouri river is already getting kind of interesting missouri restaurant missouri river is getting interesting actually i haven't checked it this morning yet yesterday they put out two different two forecasts on the missouri river and the first one wasn't bad and then the second one was like here we go spring flooding 2021 so I haven't put out a new one yet this morning. Like it's the same one from last night. But yeah, pretty much pepper. I don't do, I don't do the spices. So on the Missouri river, we can, we can comfortably, comfortably hold like 35 feet. You know, if the river gets to 35 feet. We can hold 36. We've done it before. But that's that's like sandbags on top of the levee, you know? Uh, they're predicting 31.3. And I bet this will change today. So I don't want to hear any more rain like on the Missouri River at all. And I know Bert's on probably the Illinois River, if I had to guess, Bert. So, or somewhere up that way. Which, that causes problems for the Mississippi, of course. So, Mississippi is not doing too much right now. So, that part's okay. But yeah, it's just, I just don't like, don't, don't, don't want to deal with it. Yeah.
Nah, we can we can hold. Um, let me let me look because it, this this little website here has records of like everything. In let's see, 1993, of course, it was 38 feet, and there was no holding that. 2019, the Miss or Missouri River was um, 35.17, and they held that comfortably, like or not comfortably, but like they held it. So okay, we can we can hold thirty five in a little bit, maybe not thirty six. We can we can we can hold a little bit. But like I said, that's like putting sandbags on top of the levee, and that stuff's scary. I don't like it. I've never been down there to help them do it, but I don't like. Wait, sorry, that's the wrong river. That's the that's the Mississippi. Hang on. One second. Okay. Oh, come on. Who else checks river levels like every day? Is it just me? <laughs> yeah, only if it's a concern. <laughs> it's something you got to know, unfortunately, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. The Missouri River in 1884 was just over 40 feet same thing in 93 i don't know if i believe that 1884 or 1844 uh, record but you know i believe the 93 one of course yeah and then there's not another high number in here oh 2007 it was it was 35.91 and that was like starting to trickle over the levee 3591 that was trickling oh, in in places it was running over the levee that that year but they they held it back with uh with sandbags on top of the levee so 313 is what they're forecasting right now so i just you know it's getting it's getting to the point where you really got to start watching it so No, please, no more massive rainstorms. No. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I can show you the um, the marks in our shed, Bert, from 93. They're still there. They're there from 92, obviously, but 93, they're still there. For some reason, 95, we don't have any marks. I don't have any marks from 95. I don't know why. But 93, there's definitely still marks there. All right. This field should be not done. Hey, Sarge, you grew up like near the Mississippi, right? Yes. Was your farm, family farm, in the floodplain back then or no? Yeah, we had about two acres that were. Oh, okay. Which required us to have flood insurance. Of course. The only thing is, is if it ever flooded there, there would have been entire towns underwater. Ah. I gotcha. You know, as far as, you know, maybe... Um, height, actual lay of the land and all that, yeah. it was probably low enough to actually be in a floodplain. Okay. But for the river to get over that far... Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Long way, huh? A lot of height. Okay, you're doing twenty three, right? Yes. Okay. Ten. Ten. Ten's down there. Okay, I'm heading down to ten. Uh, Sean, <laughs> no no marks from ninety five because it burned down. That was ninety three, when the uh, ninety three when the barn burned down during the flood. Yeah, that was 93. Yep, yep. And I, I still need to find... There's a book somewhere in my house. I think we actually have two of them. There's a picture and a whole, like, article about the barn burning down. And and I just... I have no idea where that book is. I need to get on Dad and see if I can, like, get my brother to scan that picture and so I can show you guys. Like, the barn burned down right to the water line. Of course, it was after the water went away when the picture was taken, but... 
you know, because it's like before the era of digital cameras and phones and stuff where everybody, boom, the, the amount of pictures I would take today if something like that were to happen, you know, would be insane. I mean, for God's sakes, I'd have drone video and everything. But you just didn't have that back in 93. Kind of a different way of living, you know? Back when everything was simple. <laughs> you remember the paper had it? Interesting. Oh, yeah, there's a whole there's a whole book about it, Bert. Or a book about the flood. And uh the barn was, was featured in the book, so Yeah. I don't know, we got I think we have like our copy of the book, Dad's copy of the book, and then when I think we got Grandpa's copy when he uh when his house like got cleaned out and stuff. If I recall. The craziest thing was the um the mobile home that washed in in 1995. There was a, a, a whole mobile home sitting out in the field. And now it was like collapsed and it didn't have a floor in it. So it was not save up, you know, it wasn't for saving. So, uh, grandpa burned it right there where, where it landed. And then I, I can remember it because for some reason I got tasked with the job of uh, cleaning up nails. Yep, Bert. That's that was that was my uh, my grandpa's barn. There was. What farm do we own on Griffith? Yeah, no, we own the one you start with. I can't show you. Hang on. It's the one you start with up up northwester. I got your ox. Yeah, they couldn't call any uh, fire department because, uh, well, you know, it was kind of kind of six feet of water on the ground, so they couldn't really get the fire truck there. You know, what you can do. <laughs> Actually, the the fire chief for like down in that area, after that happened, he would never look my grandpa in the eye again. He couldn't stand that they couldn't help. Like he was he was ashamed basically. That they couldn't help his, the barn, you know, and like he just he felt so bad about it forever. He would never look my grandpa in the eye again, and like they were friends before that, you know. Yeah. But he was so ashamed that they couldn't help, and it's grandpa never like never. Up, I mean, he was upset that his barn burned down, but not at the firefighters. You know, he yeah. completely understood that there's nothing they can do. Exactly. So, you know the the Zach Zach's family, and like if you point a straight line across the field they're oh about a mile away or so they uh here's the farm we own by the way up here but like zach's family about a mile away they were there were straw bales that were on fire floating at their house and like they were worried about their house catching fire from our straw bales that were floating across the field on fire so it's like they just you know nobody could do anything and you know yeah we were upset the barn burn but like i said not upset at anybody Oh, well. Cool. Yeah, I bar barely, barely remember 93. And I bet you most of my memories of, quote, 93 are actually 95, to be honest. So, I think that's actually more of what I remember is 95. I do remember riding on the tractor with Grandpa after the flood, and I don't remember which flood this was. I think it was 93 because we had a lot of flood mud as we call it and uh i can remember riding on the the fender of the 995 with grandpa when he was scraping out the buildings trying to get rid of that flood mud that mucky nasty just oh flood mud's terrible i don't know if you guys have ever had to deal with that oh. been around it oh. you're all right it it can just, just it can be rancid mucky slimy nasty Nasty. Uh, what do we need rocks to do? At least start on a uh, harvest contract somewhere. Oh, 
Oh wow, Zach. That's crazy. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of cultivating missions. Too bad we don't own like a big cultivator, huh? Yeah. I mean, we could lease a couple or get a couple through missions, but um, actually, the harvest missions are. I mean, they're they're okay. The good harvest missions are the potato ones, but I don't know if we really want to do that. Um, here, go we'll cultivate uh, 17. How about that? Yeah, they uh, that flood mud, Ugh. Ugh. nasty. But that might have been 95, though, because I don't. I don't know, because like in 19, the water kind of backed in, so it wasn't that muddy. You know, so 19, it definitely backed in. I think 90, 93, every levee broke, so it just ran in hard. Of course, you know, there's there was no levees left after 93. So. Yeah. I have to ask Dad what year that was. We had all the flood months. I bet it was 93. I just don't remember. Kind of young. But yeah. Would have been quite a sight to see the barn burning down during a thunderstorm during a flood, though. I will tell you that. That that had to be quite a sight to see. That would have been like, I'm sending the drone up. I don't care if it's a thunderstorm kind of, kind of, you know kind of thing since that's what happened you know lightning struck and down she went and it had lightning rods on it too it had lightning rods on it too I don't know if they work but it had them <laughs> so field nine Might as well get a second, uh, we'll get a second cultivator so we can, that one kind of hurt. All right. All right, Tony, give me one second. I can look at it. Tony, how was the Verdant school last night? I'm assuming you guys played, but I don't know. I was going to come in and say hi, and then I just didn't. Oh, Steel Frame, too. Wow. That's Pepper. That's awesome. Yeah, the barn was wood frame, and I think it had a shingle roof. So when it lit and the, the whole, you know, it wasn't a huge barn, but it was a good sized barn or, you know, a little family farm. The whole upstairs was full of bales of straw when it burned. I remember this picture, Zach. Yeah. I remember that picture. Dude pulling a boat in the mud, kind of. Whose farm was that? Was that your family farm, Zach? It kind of looks like it could be. Or does it say whose farm that is? It may not. The picture, or this this paper is from uh, August 19th of 1993. It looks like the water's already gone down. Based on the building. Wow. Crazy. It's crazy, man. Only spared two of the 240 farmers. Wow. Yeah, you look at like, you look at like what, uh, like if you see a map of like how, where it actually flooded, my God, flood in 93 was insane. 
Yeah, because we had to deal with that up where I was at. Yeah, that was, I mean, it was everywhere. That was not just like, like in 19, it was kind of like here, you know, like this area. But man, 93 was everywhere. There were towns wiped off the map. That was actually your family, Zach, huh? That's cool. That was the head farmer guy. Pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was, it was, it was, yeah. You look at some of the maps on like Google and stuff and it's, it's insane. Absolutely insane. So I just don't, don't want to go through that again. It's, it's so stressful and like, I can't imagine having like livestock and having to find a place to go with them, you know? I just can't imagine. You know, back in like, uh, what was it, 86, Grandpa still had animals and stuff on the farm. And when it flooded in 86, he's like, I'm done. And they moved to town in 86. <laughs> they bought a house in town and they were done. No more farm life living. He still farmed until, he kind of farmed until 95. He had Zach's family do some of the work in 95 for us. But like he, uh. Yeah, he kind of farmed till 95. So. 22. I'm going there. I actually had Zach's family plant beans for us after the flood. What he did. So once he, once he combined, he was done. Then he turned it over to actually Zach's family. Was uh, renting the ground for many years after that. Okay. Go lock it in. Takes a long to unfold. Live. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know what you would do with your livestock, you know? especially around here, because not a lot of people even have livestock. I guess there's that one guy up by like my dad's cousin's place that has cows that could maybe take him. He's on high ground, so I just I don't know. I don't know. Right, Zach? Would have been interesting, right? I'm getting low in for yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'll have to go in probably after this field and get somewhere. I don't own a farm. I don't own a farm. My dad owns five acres of what used to be his family farm. Um so I don't I don't own a farm. But dad owns five acres. We rent he rents to the guys that bought the rest of it, like three-ish acres roughly and then the rest of it is like our garden slash pumpkin patch whatever you want to call it and then like our buildings and grass and stuff so but no i don't i don't own a farm so it's still a really cool place that we get to go and play around with you know tractors and stuff like that little tractors all kinds of stuff you're very, if you're interested in it, there's a series on my YouTube channel called On the Farm. On the main YouTube channel, go check it out sometime. It's uh, there's 170 something episodes there, I believe. I didn't know that, Zach. That's kind of crazy. You know, I I have a hard time believing, but like. I mean, it almost flooded in 19, but you know, uh, my guys that bought, or the guys that bought the farm, Zach, their homestead had 18 inches of water in it in 93. And they live on high ground. So, uh, for the flood of 19, they actually built like a three or four foot levee all the way around their entire property. They just went out, went out on the back 40 and started digging holes and moved all the dirt on there, made a levy. 
when is the next on the farm coming out? Um, when I'm doing something that's like not the same thing we've been doing for the past, you know, four years. So I guess we were working on the field cultivator, cultivator, and that's kind of different. But I didn't film any of that yesterday. So, which actually, uh, Sarge, did I? I don't know. Yeah, I talked to you last night, didn't I? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Bert, <laughs> Bert doesn't know. All the shovels are on. All new shovels are on. I actually posted a picture of Discord of what, like, one of the old ones looked like, what one of the old newer ones looked like, because, like, the people had been putting newer ones on over the years, and then, like, what one of the brand new ones looked like. Uh, I posted a picture in Discord yesterday of that. But they're all on. It wasn't bad at all. We only had to use the grinder on one of them. And we used, we have a nut splitter, too. Do y'all ever use a nut splitter? Ever use one of those, Sarge? I have. They're kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. They're and not. I, yeah, they're not as effective as what you would like them. No, to be. not at all. No, Bert, I did not. Neither did Dad. No blood was shed during uh, the changing of the uh, the sweeps. Yeah, they do work. The nut splitters do work. They're just kind of a pain to get them to work. But we only had to use that on one, and we used a, a cutting wheel on one more. That's it. The rest of them came off fairly well. Uh, we used our DeWalt cordless uh, impact gun. And uh, everything worked out. It was a good good day yesterday. So. And I was going to be the one laying on the ground working on it, but Dad just, like, grabbed the piece of cardboard, and he was there. And then, like... Especially on the front when he would kind of like, he weaseled his way up underneath the front of the thing. And then to like go farther, he's like, okay, now push down on the back. So I would like tilt the whole thing back. And then he would weasel his way underneath it farther. And I would lay it back down so he could work on it. It was real safe. What I'm trying to say. OSHA approved. <laughs> I wasn't that bad though. But we got her, got her done. I think there's, Bert, I want to say there's seven inch sweeps, but I, it could be sixes. I don't remember what they are. Bert, do you discord? I know not everybody discords. I could pull up the picture and show you on stream if you want. Yeah. Okay. I can still pull up the picture. I might pull, I'm just going to pull up the picture. Why not? Yellow, right? Why not? So there's the picture. Oh, that's really zoomed in. Oh my. How do I unzoom? No. Go away. How do I, how do I zoom out? Okay. Apparently we can't. Okay. All right. So this is an old one on the left. That's a brand new one. Then this, why is the picture so big? That's a brand new one there in the center. Actually, made in America. It's it's actually stamped on the backside. Made in America. I was shocked. And then this is one here that was on the thing. But it was it was newer. You know, you can tell it's a lot newer. But this uh this here old one. And it's uh there were some where the front edge was actually like curled under. So, oh, wow, it was worn. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that one was pretty bad. That was that was one of the worst ones. There was one more where, like I said, the front edge was actually curled under. Uh, but yeah, they, so our new ones, like the center one here, made in America. I was shocked to see that stamped in the backside. Oh. So, anyway, hopefully, okay, good. I didn't break my string. Yes, winning. So that's the uh, that's the new sweeps. Very happy to have it done. Well, well used. Just a little. <laughs> I mean, everything on this thing is used. It's worn. It's everything sloppy. You know, I paid 160 bucks for it. You kind of can't beat that, you know? 
And for the little bit of garden that we actually are going to be using this thing on on a yearly basis, it'll last us 100 years, you know? So, actually, that might be a better way to show it. Just pull down Discord. Here, there. Now it's not so zoomed in. I actually see all three. So it's a big difference going from the one on the left to the center one. That's a huge difference. Because there were only a couple of these, like, quote, newer old ones, which we saved some of those. We didn't get rid of all of them. We did get rid of most of the sweeps already, though. Dad took them to work to scrap out. Because there's no point in having old, really, really worn out sweeps laying around, you know? Holding on to a couple that are still okay. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that because if you got something that breaks or. Yep. I figure the only issue we should have is where the <laughs> barn used to be. There's a lot of big rocks and a few pieces of concrete and stuff. Like we hit them with the disc because you can, you know, the disc will like jump out of the ground a little bit. And we've mm -hmm. picked up, I can't tell you how many rocks we've picked up over the years back there. You know, and it just kind of keep coming out of the ground. Because actually, Zach's family, I think, hired somebody when they were farming the farm. They hired somebody to come in and get rid of the foundation from the barn. Or not foundation, but like, you know, all the rocks around there and stuff. Like, the posts were sitting on big rocks, I believe. But apparently, they whoever did that, they didn't do a good job. So there's tons of stuff back there. Leonard, what's up? How's it going? So I figure if we have a problem, it'll be we hook a rock, like a big rock. So that's the only thing I could see. Wasn't me. Wasn't me, Leonard. But that one year we were plowing, and I don't know if this tells you how big they are. And actually, we pulled it. We ended up digging it out. I couldn't lift the rock. Let's put it that way. But... It stopped the 995 with uh, we were pulling our plow and it stopped the tractor completely dead in its track. Like didn't like kind of stop it. Nope. Boom. Done. Oh. All right. Field three. It's over there. Okay. So. Yeah. And we still have that rock. Actually, we saved that one. <laughs> yeah, it, it completely stopped the 995 dead in this track. On your guys' plow, you do have trip bottoms, right? No. No. Okay. No. No, no no trips. Zachary, what's up? How we doing? Doing, buddy. I'm doing... You're sitting down, aren't you? I am. What's up? I'm doing something that I've never done before. You doing your homework early? No, it's spring break, Tony. What? I mean, you never know. You could, like, get her done, you know? Oh, Johnny. What are you doing? You want to know what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm going to eat a bowl of cereal at my <laughs> computer. Oh, my God, really? Yes. Please just mute your microphone. <laughs> I don't need to hear that, Tony. A bowl of cereal at your computer? You don't want an ASMR stream? No, man, I'm good. That's kind of crazy, though, Zach, because you don't eat at your computer. Especially cereal. You don't eat cereal either. What's what? You feeling okay? He has a mouthful of cereal right now, Chet. You can tell. <laughs> I'm, feeling I'm feeling great. Feeling good. I just, we had a bowl or we had like a package. We had like, we had Reese's Puffs in the pantry. I was like, you know what? I want some. Who's, whose baby were you holding yesterday? By that the way. It was my cousin's. Okay. No, it, was, it was mine. Congrats. Thank you. His name's Tony. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, how many horsepower does 995 heads? It's about 65 horsepower or so. But it, I mean, it, it was a big rock. <laughs> yeah, Sarge, our plow is go or no. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. That plow, I should do a video of that plow or something. It is a Massey Harris Ferguson. 
And they only used all three names for like a couple of years, apparently. Yeah, it wasn't for very long. So it might, I don't know if it's a quote a rare plow or not, but it's a three bottom, three point hitch. And the problem is it doesn't have any gauge wheels of any kind. Yeah. It does have culters that are super slopped out and, and really um, basically just shouldn't even use them because they're, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Because they're, uh, they're so bad. Which we've actually robbed two of the culters off the thing, but that's another story. Oh, we're not synced up at all, are we? Okay. Not quite. That's okay. I'll go over and kind of do it. Of course, it. I don't have GPS on this one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's right, because it's the least deal. Okay, that's fine. We got this. We'll be good. So. Right, Sean? Me too. Me too. Never going to happen, but yeah. But yeah, so it, it has culters. They're really slopped out. We actually stole two of them off there last year. And we rigged them up on the three-point hitch on the tractor. And we used them to cut the straw out in the garden so we could rake it back to uh, plant pumpkins. And that actually worked quite well. I never got any video of that either. With all three names, they're all over, Bert. Darn. Hoping I had something rare. We paid, like, nothing for it. We got it off the uh, Craigslist actually we went over to illinois and got it off craigslist yeah we went to get the thing and lady had a kubota tractor there and she's like okay just jump on the tractor and load it up like lady i've never driven a kubota tractor but thank you how much fertilizer you got sarge uh 300 go ahead and unload that and i'll grab it because i think we are done with the fertilizing nope. contracts, yeah. All right. All right, I will head to the farm. Might as well accept all these fertilizing contracts. While we're at it. Tony must be coming in. Peppers. Yeah, the uh, we had two plows. One was a uh, draw bar. Yeah. And then the other one did actually attach to the three point. Mm -hmm. The only thing was is if you lifted the three point, the whole thing did not come off the ground. It had a it, the rear tire stayed on the wheel. Yeah. Or stayed on the on the ground. So it was probably like a like a semi mounted. Two bottom are using this like the two big a one just resubscribed yeah. for 21 months puma plow flex camp puma plow flex camp puma plow pie puma plow pie yo biggie thank you very much for the 21 months i appreciate you man yeah it did not have the uh top link yeah yeah here you go biggie got your flex cam buddy yeah, I kind of wish, I don't know. I'm trying I, to remember if they were both four bottoms or if that one was a five. I just wish we had a plow with a gauge wheel. Because a three-point hitch plow is kind of a nightmare. Yeah. Because so, it's either like you bury it or you're barely plowing. At least in our, our experience with it, it was. Uh, and the other thing is like, you know, we only have like an acre. So by the time you get the thing set right and it's working, you're done. Yeah. So, yeah, but we, I don't know. We liked plowing. I, I liked plowing. I always thought plowing was fun, you know, but we just don't do it anymore. Dad doesn't like to work it as aggressive anymore as we used to. Of course, now with our pumpkin rotation, we don't have to, because that was the thing. It's like, let's bury all this pumpkin debris. So when we go to plant next year, we have clean dirt. But now that we don't do that. Yeah, they're they're terrible, Bert. See, my, my grandpa used to be the plow setter. Like, he could set a plow. And <coughs> he actually, there was, there was a farmer who had my grandpa set him a, a plow. And he never took the plow back off the tractor after that. He just, he left it on there all year after that. For years. 
Yeah, he'd go out and plow with it, and it would work. And then he would, yeah, just leave it on there all year. So, all right, what are we doing? I'm going to do, oh, now there's another fertilizing contract for 28. What? It's okay. It's not really worth the money. Uh, you want to do the corn missions or the, you want to do those, Sarge? We'll just not borrow the equipment since yeah, we have yeah. our own. Yeah, what is it? Field 25 uh, and no, not 29. Uh, field 7. I mean, they're not worth a ton of money, but hey. Not a lot. Actually, like three mowing missions too. Lot of potato missions. And I'm kind of wondering, I'm kind of looking at it going, maybe, maybe we should, but I don't know. Rox, will you get in and out of your tractor, please? You have a loading guy over here. Uh, that was not when we met Trent, by the way. When we went over to Illinois to get the plow, no. He went just, just across the river from, like, uh, South St. Louis County. Like, we took 270 across a little family farm over there. We bought it from some lady. Her dad had it forever. But anyway, she's like, oh, just jump on the tractor and load it up. She's like, I don't know how to run that tractor. And I was like, lady, I've never even seen a Kubota tractor before at that time. Like, I had like a left-hand reverser. I had no idea what I was doing, but I, I made it happen. You know? So you drove past like Jefferson Barracks, right? Yeah. W. Yeah. Well, not W, but... Yeah. I mean, you, you, I don't know if you know this, Zach. That's like where my mom grew up. Okay. At I one, think I did know that. At one time, my mom actually lived on the barracks there at Jefferson Barracks, when, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. Like, my, my grandpa was in the Army. And at one time, they lived in, like, government housing on the barracks. Wow. Yeah. So, my both my grandma and grandpa and my mom's parents are both buried down at uh, Jefferson. Jefferson Barracks. I know. I, I've driven down there once for, you know... What do you go down there for? It's quite drive. It is, uh, it's something. It's something to drive through there. And, you know, I can't imagine going like Arlington. Obviously, Arlington's way bigger. But, yeah, it's quite an experience. Yeah. I mean, it's a sad experience, but experience nonetheless. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But it's crazy seeing some of the, like, really old stones that, like, don't match, you know? Because there are some in there that don't match. Look at Tony coming in the wagon. Auger wagon. Let's go. Here we go, Tony. Here we go. We're going to have a heck of a harvesting crew right here. <laughs> Custom crew coming through. <laughs> Me and my Chinese JD. Watch out. Mm -hmm. Wow. But yeah, no, it's... uh. I kind of wish like all that and you may not know what I'm talking about Zach but there's like a Walmart and a bunch of retail right there kind of and Jefferson Bears is like right behind the Walmart and stuff and I would imagine or so, it would be it would be you know a lot better obviously if they could just like get rid of the Walmart and stuff and it's like expand the cemetery that way eventually you know just uh, kind of weird having a Walmart and then like you know a national cemetery I remember getting off the highway. I think there was like a dollar store or something. Probably, yeah. There's I don't all, remember a Walmart. There's all kinds of yeah. There's a Walmart. There's uh, used to be a, a Sears Hardware back in the day. My grandma, my grandma had a condo like right across the highway from all that stuff. That's where my grandma like lived forever. So when I say we would go to grandma's, yeah. it was right there. So. So you're basically like on the border of Missouri and Illinois. Yeah. Business professor, hello, it's going well. How's your uh, day there, Mrs. Professor? It is very humbling to go there, yes. Yes, it is. I'm going to go turn around. And this big, big, big field here, man. We're, we're going to be harvesting forever here. <laughs> I'd take a minute. Yeah. Take us longer to drive to and from than it will to harvest. I've only ever been to one other uh, national cemetery, and that was uh, 
It was like a brand new one outside of Chicago at the time when I got to go to it. Like, it was brand new. Like, there was hardly... There was, it was, yeah, brand new. That was somewhere, somewhere outside of Chicago. Didn't even tell you where. My sister and I were just out driving around one day. Found it. Hi, right, Tony, you better get in there, Tony. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Tony. Sorry, I just finished my, uh, my cereal. <laughs> How was your cereal? It was great. I just drank the milk. How old were those Reese's Puffs, bro? They weren't, bro. They were they were in a sealed baggie. That doesn't mean they're not old. They weren't old, Johnny. Trust me. I know stale food. That was not stale. <laughs> like your donuts? Okay, Johnny. <laughs> you want help or no? Okay. I mean... Johnny, lock it in. Come on. It's what it is, you know? <laughs> Can you believe this guy, Sarge? Come on. <laughs> Man. I'm glad I can see everything because there's 27 trees in the way. Am I stuck behind the wheel of the semi today? I guess, yeah. Whoa. I guess. Oh. Line up, line up. Tony's in the way. Sorry, Sarge. Yeah, my fault. Getting lined up with the cheap. Hmm. Yep, I guess I'm the semi driver today. That's okay. Oh, actually, there's a field eight as well, which actually isn't field eight like. Hey, hey, Sarge, you get to jump fields right after this guy. Okay, which would... Oh, field, right field beside eight. us. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, this is field seven. I really should not have taken so many at one time, but that's okay. All right, I'm going up there with that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Leonard, bonus stream tonight? I don't know. Should there be? What do you want to play? Could there not be? I don't know. I mean, I'm open. Yeah. I like do. For Don's open or? Not for stream, no. Or like Rust open. I was thinking SnowRunner. I'm just all about SnowRunner, and I haven't played since like Monday, you know? That works too. So. Wait, what do you mean, uh? What? What was that, uh, for? What do you mean, uh? You just said, uh. I haven't played since Monday, uh. Oh, uh, I thought when I said that uh, works, I thought you meant like, oh, like, oh, Tony's going to join. Oh, uh, Tony's going to join. Gross. Okay, not playing that game. Why are you playing for him, so? What game does Tony not join? That's what I'm going to play. Minecraft. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about uh, SnowRunner tonight and SnowRunner tomorrow? How about that chat? Tomorrow night. Gold Rush? Yeah, I'll play Gold Rush. Yeah, uh -huh. three days from never. Okay. They give me they give me multiplayer in Gold Rush. I'm there. Yeah, I'm with you. I would play the ever-loving crap out of that game, especially if they had a server, too. Oh, could you imagine? Uh, Probably, no. I mean, I don't have to play Rust every week, Sean. If Tony's free to play, I'm going to head out. Right, Leonard? <laughs> okay, guys. What are we doing? Guys, lock we're, it we're making fun of Tony. That's what we're doing. You guys not have anything else. Learn, don't you have a job? Do okay. Something. My width is off. All oh, good. Oh, we got a crash car into the center median. Rip. Zach, did you hear about the big roundabout our our town's putting in? Yeah, on the way of the farm. Yeah. Yeah. Is you know, like a, you know, it's, for... you know, it's going to take them a year to put that in. Is it? Yeah, that's the way we go to the farm. So for a year, we're going to have to drive through a construction zone. I can't wait. Why is it going to take them a year to put in? Because they're slow. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like me and you could put a roundabout in faster than <laughs> Right. Give me the nine nine five, and let's get her done. Uh, up some. Leonard, I would I would agree on the downhill slide of rust. I would agree. I think the uh, forced reset really kind of got a lot of people. You know. And yeah, Tony, he's at his job. 
Well, don't do your job, you know? He's doing Oxy. his job. Making fun of me? He can multitask. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, he worked from home yesterday, you know? Big Blizzard had to, had to stay home. A Blizzard. Eh? Actually, speaking of Blizzard, not, not so much Blizzard, but, like, last night when I was going to bed, it was pounding rain here, right? Yeah. Just pouring super hard. I looked at my phone... And like Columbia, Missouri was getting snow. Columbia? Yes, Columbia. Like Zach, between us and Columbia right now, there's a little bit of snow showing up on the radar. Wow. I know. Kind of crazy. Well, they issued flood warnings now for the Mississippi. Ugh. Goodness. Can we just not get any more rain for a little bit? Can we just get a break for like three or four days i would agree with that at least you're not dealing with ice jams and stuff like that true yeah the river's wide open right now there's there's not a speck of ice on it anymore it was it's, iced up pretty hard this winter though i just rather have all the rain than snow you know i rather have snow i think i think i rather have snow because like the risk of river flooding from a bunch of snow is a lot less than rain I don't know. Here we I are. I see why you guys eat a bowl of cereal every night, man. That's loud. <laughs> All right, Tony. Here's the strat, right? You get your What's Reese's up? Puffs, right? Uh-huh. But you dump chalky milk into it. Well, you never came home with my milk, so I don't have that. Oh. Oh, the world is up with this GPS. I don't know. You got an offset set or something? I think the width on those corner heads is 40.03. Right? That sounds right. Or just make it 40 and call it duck soup, you know? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, chat, how's, how's the weather? What time did you go to bed this morning, Jenny? Uh, so I did that thing where, like, I fall asleep when I shouldn't, and then when I'm trying to fall asleep, I can't. Oh, so you slept in the recliner, okay. Little bit. Dad and I watched some TV last night. I stayed awake for the most part for, uh, for yeah, the... I said 40. Yeah, somewhere around 40. Uh, I, I ended up falling asleep around 3. Oh, yeah. uh, must be, must be nice. <laughs> well, what time did you go to bed? Uh, I got off my computer about 3.30. Oh, man. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. <laughs> <laughs> my dad came down about three and I thought I was going to get yelled at, which I kind of did. Yeah. But he was like checking the sump pumps. Oh yeah. With all the rain. I, sure. I didn't hear him. Cause I was like, I was listening to music with like, and playing rust. Ah. Uh. So like he, he, all of a sudden I see like this man walk into the office at like three <laughs> o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it scared me. It probably gave me a heart attack. I bet it did. And then like, I got the speech about like, oh, you know, you can't be doing this all summer. You need to get a job. I'm like, dad. It's it's a week. I'll be getting up at six o'clock next week. Okay, like it's, I'm down. It's okay, you know. So what, what's your job this summer? You, you need to start looking now. You know that, right? Like need to line something up soon. You know, need to lock it in, Tony. I know. You need an assistant, Johnny. <laughs> I already got one. Well, he's on vacation. <laughs> he's on vacation. He'll be back like Sunday. <laughs> what if you just send him on like permanent vacation? Permanent vacation? <laughs> Is that paid or? No, no, not me. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then I probably would have stayed up later last night, but I left my AirPods in the car. Okay. And I couldn't go. I didn't want to go out to the car and, like, because the door to the garage creaks. Oh. I, I don't know. I didn't want to, like, wake people up, and I can't, like, look at my, like, electronics on AirPods, you know? I mean, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to wake my father up, you know? So... I don't know, like, in my household, Tony, uh -huh. everybody sleeps with a fan on. Okay? Okay. So, like, a door creaking and making noise is never going to wake anybody up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could, go, I could go cook a full meal in my kitchen at 4 o'clock in the morning and nobody would care. What's your, what's your, what's your like, what's the temp in your, in your house? I don't know. Depends on what time of year it is, but, like, not hot. Like, right now? I bet it's about 68, 70 in there. 
I mean, ours is ours is sixty nine. Okay. But dad's but always dad's it, cold, so he doesn't sleep with a fan on. Mom has hot flashes, so she sleeps with fans on. Say my thing is just noise. I cannot sleep without noise. And then I sometimes sleep with a fan on. But like the problem. Uh huh. The problem is like, because my my parents got like married later in life. Like my dad was already married once. Yeah. So, yeah. So like my parents don't like sleep in the same bed. Mm hmm. So like my. Where my, where my bed is, my like, my dad and I's bed back up to each other like through. A oh, wall. gotcha. So I don't want to get yelled at for like waking him up. So, I guess that's probably like the best part of having the setup out here. I can scream as loud as I want at four o'clock in the morning, and nobody's gonna hear me. That's why I thought I was gonna get yelled when we were recording. When I when I was uh, yeah when I, scr when I yeah. screamed, I thought I was gonna get yelled at because he was like sleeping. I got gotcha. you. Oh man. But yeah, definitely all about the noise when I sleep. Huh. <laughs> Zach, is Hunter in charge of the thermostat at your house? Uh no. No. I don't I don't I guess dad is. I don't know. The only time I touch the thermostat is when I get in the shower and I turn it up. Because <laughs> you said it was sixty nine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I'd... find it. Funny. I, I do fall asleep watching YouTube sometimes. That happens, yeah. Been watching oh. a lot of videos about these Christmas light pixels and stuff and mega trees, and I mean, some of those are kind of boring, but it's like useful information. But it's it's kind of boring, so yeah. Been watching a lot of that lately. Because hopefully that's gonna happen. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet if I want to like pull the trigger on anything, but I would like it to happen. I also want to build some candy canes here soon, too. I also want to work on that John Deere tractor we were supposed to work on this winter and make videos about and haven't even touched it yet. <laughs> so, you know. You know, there's that, too. That, that definitely needs to get worked on here soon. Now that it's like, you know, spring's knocking on the door, like, hey, let's work on some winter projects, you know? Nothing like working on a winter project during spring, you know? Well, I mean, the field cultivator kind of, like, took a lot of time this winter, yeah. you know? And that really was an unexpected winter project, but that thing's in a lot better shape now than it was before. You know, we got all the sweeps on yesterday. You know, the thing has different tires on it now. We rebuilt those lift arms. You know, just that kind of stuff takes time when we don't know what we're doing, especially on those lift arms. Didn't have a clue what we were doing, but we figured it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, five head idea. You know how how a trailer has like a like a jack on it, you know? Yeah. And you got like that cheesy handle you gotta spin, you know? Uh-huh. Well, dad and I came up with a five head idea for his trailer. And actually we could use this on the other trailer we have too. But we're gonna make the the bolt that normally holds that handle on, we're gonna make that a pin instead of a bolt. Okay. Okay. Alright. Then we're, he he took some stuff to work to kind of they have like this really big belt sander and he needed to like sand down this piece a little bit to make it work but we're basically going to make an adapter that'll go in like a drill or an impact gun yeah, yeah i've seen that on tiktok and so we can use instead of sitting there cranking you just like hold <laughs> yes. the button so if you ha well the thing is by, ha by having that be a pin so the handle stays in the truck right so if we say forget the drill or whatever, the handle's in the truck. But if we okay, have the yeah. drill, then boom, just use that instead, you know? Yeah, because I was gonna say you could always just, you know, chop it off and weld a nut onto it. I, we were, we didn't want to modify the like the jack, you know? Yeah. Which is very easily to do. You know, it wouldn't be a big deal to weld a nut on there and just call it done. Does that void the warranty, or is there no warranty on that? I don't know if there's a warranty on that. Probably not, but I just, you know, rather not modify something, you know, new. You know? Yeah. I don't have to, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, five head, right? Yeah, that is, well, that'll work. that is pretty five head, Jenny. They'd be cool to have. Because that's the worst part of a trailer is having to, like, crank on the jack for a million years. The other idea was to take an old like DeWalt 18 volt drill 
and like hotwire it basically and you could you could totally do this where you know you have your uh trailer wire lights right you could and, it, and his truck has uh the round plug and the flat four you could wire it up so you plug into the round plug and it would power the drill may not be the best on the truck but it could be done well now if you want to get real crazy <laughs> <laughs> with the larger larger plug there are hot lines in that exactly. that you could utilize for that yep. and you could make it a toggle switch and a permanently mounted yeah you could I was like that would be kind of cool or just buy an electric jack too <laughs> yeah. They I mean, those some too. Of, yeah some of your uh, a lot of your campers will have stuff like that yeah and, yeah and I was like, the other thing is, Dad, if we if we take the handle off the jack and it's like, say, locked up in the truck, and say for some reason we have our lawnmower sitting outside of our house on the trailer, say even overnight, that's an anti theft device, because you couldn't jack it up to get it off the truck. No, I mean I'm sure you know somebody really wants to see if they're going to get it, but it would it would deter some people. Why not buy an electric jack? Because uh, they're, I don't know. I guess they cost money, right, Leonard? <laughs> they kind of sure pricey. Cost. <laughs> it's like what he's doing now is like free, you know? He, he basically took scrap metal from the farm and he's going to weld it together. So, yeah. It's like, why not? And bounce over to eight. Harbor Freight has one for $119. Well, that's $119 we don't have to spend. <laughs> Maybe, like, after the jack that's on the trailer, like, craps out, you know? Because it's, it's it's literally a brand new jack. So, yeah. So, it was just kind of kind of something we were messing with yesterday at the farm. Oh, man, Tony, I thought we were going to get in one hopper. Heading out. We'll tarp. We'll tarp. We'll t look at us. Look at us being legit. Tarping as we go down the road. It's uh, it's electric. I have a remote. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing for the hopper doors, right? You don't want to push that one when you're going down the road? No. That could be a problem. See, the other theory was to make like a wrench that would go over the handle, like where it mounts to the jack. And then I was like, why don't we just take the handle off? Yeah, like why leave the handle on at all? Although if you left it on, then say we get a trailer for my dad's work, we could use the adapter we make on there too, but that's okay. I don't think we're going to have to worry about getting trailers from his work for long. Not too much anymore. Hoping to get the man left to the farm maybe this weekend. We gotta We gotta figure out what's wrong with our door. We may have figured out one issue with it yesterday. Dad yeah, used the wrong kind of bolt apparently when he put up that last roller and the the bolt is dragging on the track. So You ordered me an electric jack? What? What? Stop truck, please. Um, thanks, I think, Leonard. Not sure. It's one of those things. It's like, we can make it. Why not make it, you know? Dad and I like to goof around and make stuff like that all the time. Weird stuff. All right. Field seven. Eight. You guys are on field 12 now, right? Eight. Or sorry, eight. I was looking right at the number, too. 
applies. Oh, because it's 12% complete. Okay. That's why I said that. Okay. And that's going down yonder. Okay. On my way. On my way. I bet they are, Mrs. Professor. And you know, maybe someday. I figured, Leonard. I figured, but I wasn't sure, you know? Never know. You never know. Alrighty. I'm sure you guys will have full grain carts by the time I get over there, right? Yeah. This yield is <laughs> nothing. <laughs> well, it's pretty sandy dirt, you know, like the drought. <laughs> probably not fertilized either. That's probably more what it is, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. All good. I just can't wait to, uh, to mess with that. Oh, it's going to be fun. Two hundred bushel corn. I'm sure it's more like five. A hundred, but just five. <laughs> and hey, man, you never know. I don't expect it. Just saying. Don't expect it. And like I said, guys, it's a brand new trailer jack, so I don't want to like replace it. You know, that would be kind of kind of wasteful. Just to replace a brand new trailer jack. I don't want to do that. Oh, look, he actually got a bin full. Wow. Hey there. Kind of didn't expect you guys to have a bin full by now, even. We'll try to cooperate. Look at me. This is this would this angle would totally work in real life, right? Trying to pull out of a field loaded. I mean I won't be full, but yeah. So chat Minecraft server. Had a good conversation with Phil last night about that, I feel like. Yeah. yeah that was a good conversation. Because Phil is kind of representing the, the last night anyway. He was the only one out of the, the, the bunch of them that have talked about it. So I can confirm a Minecraft server will be coming back. I just won't necessarily play on it. So, yeah. More of a community server instead of like a stream server. Does that make sense? I think that's a good way to look at it. Appreciate your corn there, Tony. Man, I can't see anything. Why? I went in cab and it has like the like right where I need to look to see the spout. That's where oh. that mirror is. Like if you turn around, drive. Oh it yeah. You know you should turn your tractor around, drive the other way. It might help. Actually, I don't think you can hook up to that. From like the front of your tractors. Oh man. Uh, rocks, I'm not sure. I think so, but I, I don't know yet. I haven't actually, like, gone through with picking it up yet, so. Yeah. Because basically what I was talking to Phil about last night and the other guys that were around was, like, I need to find, like, somebody that's going to run it. So when there's little issues on the server because there's going to be people that are playing go to that other person. They don't come to me. Cause I'm like I said, I kind of don't want to be involved. I don't mind getting a server, but I don't want to be involved. If that makes sense, because it turns into kind of a headache to be honest. So 
you know, and then it's like, okay, so if I pick person B, then like everybody else is going to be mad about it, you know? Like, do I just put Sarge in charge of it? And if something happens, you know, just TNT comes out, you know? My vote. So. I don't have a vote, but that's my vote. Why don't you get a vote? I'm not playing. Oh, okay. Or play. Hey, me either, man. Hey, high five, Johnny. <laughs> Yo, Faceable Duke, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome in. Zach, you want to go drop into Verdance? Verdance? Yeah, and you or, were asking about, you were asking about Verdance last night. I never answered. It was, it was a rough night. Well, it was a rough night until I squad wiped a team in Super, and it was great. You squad wiped a team in Super? I did. They I must, had four kills. I meleeed, I think, two of them. They must not have had a gun yet, huh? Oh, uh, they did. And I was just going at them, you know. Fire Shadow, what's up? Thanks for lurking. Appreciate you. How's it going today? In the past two nights, after Verdon's Leonard and Shane go play Tarkov. Oh, yeah? And then I go drop into Rust. <laughs> I'm still working on trying to get, like, all my stuff, like, smelted in Rust. Oh. Only you're going to sorry, get sorry. run over. Bad, bad cart guy over here, sorry. Everything's uh, your fault. Just remember that. Oh, I know. Oh. Cause I like I made uh I made the rounds. Let's see, not last night, but the night before. So Tuesday night, I went to like the two like fuel things, and then all the mines. Oh yeah. So I like I got all like the ore smelted. I just got to get like the oil and stuff. Gotcha. Uh, Zach Leonard says video or it didn't happen. Ask Shane. He'll he'll back me up. All right. Uh oh. MSI support, that's not good, Fire Shadow. That anytime you gotta contact support. Uh it's going going well over here, but what's up with your computer, man? Yeah, I kinda I forget what day I jumped in there. I think it was Monday for a few minutes, went over and got some fuel and went to the sulfur mine and got like a lot of sulfur and then I just kinda yeah, didn't put or I did I put you know fuel back in, but then I didn't uh I don't think I even cooked any of it yet. Uh, some of it has been. Okay. As, oh, that's right. You're welcome. I did drop some of that. You're right. There. So you, what do we have? About 100,000 fuel now, Sarge? I think is what you said last night, right? Two. 200,000? Wow. I think we're good on fuel, so. <laughs> so the server resets again magically by itself, right? Now, if, if it were to go through a reset, I would I would <laughs> I, like, and map-wise, this is, in, it's just a different aspect of the game. I would like to see one that has that big, massive. Yeah. Uh, mine the mine thing, too. Whatever. Yeah. We've not messed with that yet, have we? So we need to make, like, a bigger map, probably. Probably. Because I noticed that when we expanded out to the size that we got now, we picked up uh, more things. Yeah, wait a minute, fire. Fire, first off, what was that first picture? Oh, that's your monitor turn. Is your monitor, like, bubbling outward? Oh, it's broken. Your monitor's broken. Well, how'd you do that? How did you break your monitor? <laughs> wow. Well, that's not good fire. Yeah, the map we had before last, it did have the giant excavator, but I never went to it. Yeah, That's... we never got that far into it. Yeah. Hmm. Right? That's a problem there, Fire. That is a problem. <laughs> Were you dropping into Verdansk and got killed and threw your mouse? Oh, 
Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. That's unfortunate, man. That is very unfortunate. Sony. And it's it's a big difference to harvest in like fertilized corn, isn't it? It is. Yeah. This is, oh no, this is fertilized. This is two second stage fertilized. Really? Yeah, I'm looking checking the map right now. It's yeah. It's such a small field or something. Yeah. It's all turning. Need to be plowed. <laughs> no, it doesn't need to be plowed either. Oh. Doesn't even need lime. Nothing. It's a great oh. feeling. There's a cotton harvest. Ooh, there's a bale mission on thirty four worth ten grand. Hmm. I'm not any bailing yet today, have we? Not yet. Sounds like we might be. Maybe. And Zach, did you hear about that accident yesterday over on 270? No. There was a there was a semi truck that somehow uh they said follow by the way, appreciate you welcome in. Semi truck that had a back door come open. Oh. So an innocent bystander like flagged him over and like, hey, pull over, dude, you got like your doors open, you know, and got him stopped. Uh huh. And apparently when he stopped, his trailer was still out in the lane of traffic a little bit. Yeah. And somehow a car struck the trailer and started spinning. And it hit both of the guys. Oh. And it killed Ooh. the truck driver and the innocent bystander both. Oh, so it's good. like, they, were they like walking in the lane of traffic? Like, it was very unclear yesterday what actually happened. It was That's weird. Sad. I just, I don't, I don't, but it was, was kind of weird. You know, it's like, of course, you don't want to. You know, if you have to get out of your semi and you're walking in the lane of traffic, that's not a not a good idea, you know? Especially on a major highway that's really busy like that. Yeah. So, you know, it'd be different if you were down at the farm, let's say, and walking in the lane of traffic. You know, it'd be a big deal yeah. down there. So, and you still shouldn't do it, but, uh, yeah. I mean, bicycles do all the time, but, I mean, it's a little different. Yeah. Don't get me started on those bicyclists down there. Or you're not, you're not a fan either. <laughs> uh, they're they're okay. Uh huh. You love bicyclists. I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> I I don't like the motorcyclists down there, especially the uh, not Harley ones. <laughs> <laughs> the Harley guys, I've never had a problem with. It's the other guys that uh, yeah, they, don't, they don't care. They just. Yeah. yeah. The Harley guys, all they do is like just full throttle when they go past me to be obnoxious, you know? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the guy you fought with. Okay. Fought with? What? Yeah, he, he threw punches. Yeah. I guy. did not. Yep. A video didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> I'm a video or it did happen. Definitely yeah. didn't happen. I have not thrown hands with anybody in my life, bro. You want to be the first one? We're about to. <laughs> no, that, that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Mm hmm. I wouldn't say I hate them, but I definitely have uh, have had issues with them. Do I think Mike will ever come back uh, over my dead body? That's a no for me, dog. Yeah. I better be in the ground before he tries to come back. Let's put it that way, you know? No, man, we had a bad falling out. Like, I don't know how much you know, Cody, but, like, it was bad, bro. He threatened to sue me, uh, like, a couple times, and, like, it was it was bad, and yeah, we don't speak to this day. We, be like we did talk a little, like, when Mom was really sick and stuff. Like, we kind of put our differences aside to, you know, take care of Mom, and then... It, no, it's bad now, dude. Like I don't, I don't want to even be around him. I think the feeling is mutual too. Oh, I'm be sorry. 
Don't be sorry. It is what it is, you know? Don't work with your family. I can tell you that right now. Don't work with your family. Are they the back to the farm so you told them, like, F off? I have told them to F off twice this year. Well, once last year and once this year. Yeah. He was there uh, a couple weeks ago. That's when he was... I was... Really you know what he always does? I was trying... I was trying to park our harrow in the shed, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Who's Mike and what happened? Hey, CMB. Appreciate you. You're a new guy. You can tell. <laughs> You kind of miss seeing him in the videos. Well, hey, man, all his videos are still on YouTube. They're all still there because I guess I own them, right? So they're all there. Um, So for those of you that don't know, like CMB, Mike is my brother. And we actually started Puma Plot together. And, uh, God, it's been like four years ago now or something almost. I think this summer will be like four years. He uh, just decided to quit and we had a nasty falling out because like, you know, boom, plow uh, on the YouTube side, because this was all like before Twitch really was a thing. I mean, Twitch, we were streaming, but like before Twitch is what it is now. And uh, the YouTube side was making a fair amount of money. And I'll, I'll just be honest, money kind of like money. Money's the root of all evil, you know, and shows people's real colors. And yeah, so it had a lot, lot to do with money and uh he decided he was done and then uh, still wanted a lot of money and it was the whole thing. And, you know, I actually owe a big, uh, big thanks to my mother because she uh, actually wrote him a check and told him to let it go. So, so he she got, told him to F off in a polite way. Basically, she told him to F off and handed him a check at the same time. So um, it's like I was not going to pay him a dime because at the time he was still holding money and he was holding property and stuff like that you know i never did get like all the stuff back like there's monitors and all kinds of stuff that like was puma plows and sh he shouldn't have and he still does um but mom was just kind of done with it and so she cut him a check and said just let it go and that helped but you know the bridge had been burned as far as i was concerned and um yeah i kind of walk around with a chip on my shoulder about it i won't lie but he's just you know, he's just kind of rude. So, i just rather not even be around him, you know? I'd just rather not be around him, to be honest. I need to, to turn there. I'd just rather not be around him. And when he comes to the farm and then, like, tries to tell me I'm doing stuff wrong, it's like, bro, just F off. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying it's anything, like, it's your fault, but as someone who's, like, seen it, like, firsthand, yeah. I, like... Since I, like, I'm friends with you and not him, I'd much rather him, like, not come because you're just, like, grumpy after he's there. Well, and, I mean, you can pick up on some of the stuff that he does and you're just like, wait, what? Yeah, it just doesn't, like... Yeah. Yeah. And, like, you know, he just... Like, I was building a snowman. I'm sitting there welding and he's, like, telling me I'm doing stuff wrong. And it's like, you know what, buddy? Um, You can just uh, F off now. Thanks for playing. <laughs> so... It is what it is. I mean, it sucks because, you know, he is my brother, but you just, <laughs> you just don't need to, uh, don't need to work with your family. That's for sure. So. Oh, it's way, way better, Matt. It's, it's way better now. And like way more of a, like way more, a lot more of a uh, positive community and stuff, you know, like you go last, watch the last like six months worth of streams and you can just. We're about to throw hands for six months, you know? And finally, one day, I was just... I walked out of his house. I'm like, I'm not... I'm not dealing with this anymore. And then... Like, as far as streaming together and, like, the... The drama of that day, what was actually going on. And I just kind of got up and walked away. And he, uh... He streamed a couple more days after that. And then he came to my house after, uh... 